Uh, originally, we started with about 35 people for the first breakfast we had. And after that, people got excited because everybody was able, not everybody is a speaker, but everybody was able to find something to do to be a participant because I always say that Jesus never came to be served, but he came to serve. So it was a great opportunity for us to become servants and serve others that were in the neighborhood, in the community. And then people started donating food to us. So we go, well, how much better is that to give them a hot meal? And then to give them food to take home so for their families. Right now with the, the downturn in, in the economy, people really need help. It's not just what we used to consider poor, unemployed, or homeless, but now the term working poor is really very much in evidence right now. Uh, we have a lot of people who've lost jobs. We have two income families that are maybe surviving on one income. And when the choice comes between paying rent and buying food, a lot of times food loses out. There really is such a tremendous need out there. We partner with a uh, group uh, run by a local contractor in East Los Angeles that distributes food every Saturday morning. Many of the recipients are actually seniors. So we get a lot of these grandmothers from East Los Angeles, some who bring out a lawn chair and wait there from 11 o'clock at night to be able to get the best food when they give it out at six o'clock in the morning. And that kind of shows you the need. When you get seniors, that are gonna sleep outside on a sidewalk in a chair because they need food. It shows you what kind of need there is. A byproduct of Heart of Compassion Food Bank became Heart of Compassion's Men's Home. And, and the Lord opened the door for men that didn't have a place to go, that were messed up on drugs, were messed up on alcohol, were gangbangers in prison. And, and it was like, you know, that's where our heart went, that we want to be able to help these people. And so uh, we opened up a home and we gave them opportunity to get cleaned up, to change their lifestyle. And not only to change their lifestyle, but to be able to find, to be able to find a place of employment. We have a training thing where they come to the warehouse, they learn warehouse logistics, they learn forklift driving, their license, they learn truck driving. Uh, they learn dealing with people. We have many different uh, gang members from different neighborhoods that come together and they're working under the banner of love. They're under the God's banner. They're here coming together. Uh, their lives have been transformed. Now they're no longer takers, but now they've been transferred. They're givers and they're out here helping the families. They're loading up the vehicles. They're, they're the ones that are the hands and feet to the warehouse. They're the ones driving the trucks driving the forklifts, uh, putting all the packages together. So it's just, uh, just came together. And so now we have three homes where we have guys that are living and, and to where they can, when they leave Heart of Compassion, they can go into any warehouse and find a job. One of the scriptures that we have from Heart of Compassion was given out of the Bible from Matthew 25, 40, that it says, you know, what have, whatever you've done for the least of them, you've done for me. And I love that scripture. And, and another quote that we like to use was, from the founder of Pepperdine University, George Pepperdine's favorite scripture was Matthew 10:8, that said, freely you've received, freely you give. And one thing we do at Heart of Compassion is that everything that we get, we give it away freely. And we pray that God's blessings would be upon the people that, that we really believe that they're not only receiving food, but that, that some of them that have no hope are receiving hope, that we share the Father's heart. We wanna let people know that somebody loves them, that somebody cares, that here's a safe harbor and that they're being provided with something they can take back to their family and, and that the Lord's blessing can be upon their life.